Hi everyone, my name is Janae. I'm from College Express and today I will be talking about internships. Um, I am a high school junior and I've landed a bunch of internships and today I'm here to tell you how you can also land internships as a high schooler. So the first thing is um, you have to do your research. I know that might be kind of self-explanatory but um, just research some um, internships that accepts high school students. Um, another helpful tip is to have a career interest in mind or um, a hobby in mind. So like for me, I like medicine, I like computer science, so STEM related stuff. So I tried to look for internships that were based around um, things involving STEM or like the environment, which I also like. Um, another thing is don't be afraid to go to your high school counselor. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of opportunities um, that they can offer you. Uh, I know for me, my principal, sometimes she sends out emails regarding um, internship opportunities um, and I just read the description to see if I like it or not. And if I do, I apply to see if I get in. Um, for example, I did an internship um, that was about climate change in the environment and um, I found the internship because um, one of the administrators at my school sent an email about it and it seemed interesting so I applied and I got in and um, that's one of the internships I did. Another internship I did was um, something based around the medical field. Um, I live in Baltimore so Johns Hopkins is pretty popular for having internships for high school students so I constantly stay on their website and I always look for opportunities and internships to see if they're accepting high school students that need volunteering or want to do research. And that's another way I gained experience. Um, also at my school, since in 11th and 12th grade, we do a bunch of college prep. I take a, a college preparatory class that um, basically helps us with uh, preparing for college and stuff. And um, the teacher we have, she like sends us a bunch of stuff about internships. She even have a folder about nothing but internships that we can apply for, uh, which is also how I landed a coding internship. Um, she posted an announcement about it and um, I was like, okay, this sounds interesting. So I applied and um, I got in. So basically you just have to put yourself out there um, you have to make sure that you aren't scared because even though sometimes you may get rejected, you still have to keep on trying. Um, for me, I know I applied for a summer internship with Johns Hopkins last year and I didn't get in, but it, it didn't discourage me because, um, I applied again this year to see if I could get in, but I also, um, kept, um, my interests very open. So a tip is if you want to get internships make sure that you just don't stick to one interest you have multiple interests um so that could be engineering could be writing i know I'll, for me when i grew up i want to be a doctor but i also had different options open like computer science i have that option or like environmental studies and sciences i have that option so i have other stuff that is it related to medical or medicine just in case because I know that I have other interests so that's an important factor to make sure that you have other interests aside from the in the main interest that you are that I guess helps with your character so like say for instance you really love engineering and you want to do an engineering internship but there's but you don't get the internship um, it's best to have other options on the side. So like you can like engineering and you can like film at the same time and you can apply for film internships also. So that helps you not just have an internship for engineering, but also have an internship for film. So if you like both and you can't decide which one you want to do when you get in college, at least you can say that you've done internships and had experiences so that you can know which field is best for you.
So um, another thing is don't be afraid to send emails if you go on a website that's about internships. Um, sometimes websites doesn't provide a lot of information about a program or something. So what I usually do is I reach out to whoever uh, the contact info says and I just tell them about me, tell them I'm a high school student and ask them about their internships and stuff. Um, and then they get back to me and they give me a description. And if I'm interested, I go ahead and apply. Um, also, another thing is that sometimes internships can be hard to find, so you have to know where to look. Um, not all internships will come to you. Sometimes you have to go to them. Um, I feel like it's just, like I say, you have to put yourself out there. Um, another tip is to have a good resume. Um, I have a resume, so sometimes when I apply to internships and they ask for resumes, I just automatically send it to them because it allows them to know like what classes I'm taking, what clubs I'm in, what other internships I've done in the past. Um, also, some people think it's only good to have paid internships, but for me personally, it doesn't matter. I like doing both paid and unpaid. I think um, for for me, it's not about whether it's paid or not. It's about the experience and um, the research. So that's what I focus on. So if you're like focused on paid internships, like if you want a summer job or you want a job for like a month or two, then you will look for paid internships. But for me, I'm more focused on just finding what I like. So I do like unpaid internships or like paid internships um, I don't really have a preference so sometimes you shouldn't have a preference of whether you want paid or unpaid because at the end of the day if you get an internship that's unpaid but you really like it then you should do it and vice versa if you get an internship that is paid and you like it then you should do it because at the end of the day you're going to figure out what you like and what you don't like um, Inter internships are, like I said, very hard to find. And um, sometimes you just can't do it on your own. Like for me, sometimes I go to my counselor or I reach out to other people that I know that have had internships in the past and they help me. So um, you can also reach out to people like at your school, like if you know seniors or people that graduated that have like similar interests, you can ask them like, hey, I want to get some experience in this field. Can you please explain to me how I would do this? And um, basically that's how I've landed internships. So far I've landed um, an environmental science internship, like I mentioned. I also landed a medical internship. Um, I've landed a summer program internship. Uh, it's called Girls Who Code um, that I'm doing this summer. I've um, also landed an internship dash program that is also um, about coding that I'm currently doing. Um, so yeah, basically you just have to not be afraid. I'm pretty introvert myself, so um, when people come to me be like you're introvert but you have so many like inter internship opportunities I'm like well sometimes you just have to step out of your comfort zone and that took a lot for me to um, realize because like I said at all times sometimes things won't come to you sometimes you have to go out and find it yourself so that was that is what um, I did and I found it very helpful and um, of course, like if you apply to a lot of internships, but they all happen in the same time frame or range, you're allowed to say no. You're allowed to say, hey, I'm interested in this internship, but um, I, unfortunately I can't do it. It's always okay to say no. Um, at first, when I like got all these internship emails back, I was like, oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna do all these. And then I had to realize and I had to learn and tell myself that you have all these amazing opportunities, but you just can't get all of them. So sometimes you have to learn to say no, like just differentiate what you want your future to be. So like for me, I don't know if I want to do medicine or computer science. So I do, 
I find internships for both. But if you like get a lot of opportunities and you just feel like you can't do all of them, you don't have to. There's plenty of more opportunities out. You just have to be able to say no. But um, I feel like this video um, will be helpful for a lot of high school students because uh, a lot of high school students always want internships and they always want to find um, a way to do an extracurricular outside of school and sometimes they have like um, different passions and interests like art and they can't find like an art internship and stuff like that but um, I'm just here to tell you that although the process can be difficult it is um, doable you just have to put yourself out there that is the main thing I cannot stress enough um, you have to put yourself out there. You have to make yourself known. If you know you want to go into art, then I suggest um, that you look for art internships, whether that's summer, in school, or virtual, in person, anything. Um, I try to I try to stick to the internships that you don't have to pay. So like, um, for example, if you want to do an internship at Stanford or something, like one of their summer programs, they require you to pay but um, I just, like I said, try to stick to the internships that um, don't require you to pay because sometimes financial reasons and stuff like that can stop a person from doing something. So um, just try to stick to um, internships that doesn't require you to pay. And if they do require you to pay, um, you could try to work something out with them or you could try to find another internship that won't require so much. So um, I hope this video is really helpful for all these high school students that are watching this. Um, I hope that you find an internship of your liking. Um, if you ever need any advice or like you need any, like still need some more help with trying to find internships, um, you can reach me. Uh, my email is Janae, J-N-A-E, player like a baseball player, P-L-A-Y-E-R, -A 0405 at gmail.com. You can email me, tell me um, a career you're interested in, and I could try to help find you some internships. Um, or you can um, DM me on Instagram at Janae, so it's like J-N-A dot three E's. Um, because I will want someone to help me because when I was like in ninth grade, I didn't have no one to help me about um, clubs or internships and I had to figure things out things out on my own. So I think it would be really helpful uh, to help others knowing that there are people in my situation who wants to do internships but just don't know how to. So um, I hope this video was very helpful and I hope you gained some, some knowledge and um, I hope to talk to you guys again soon. See ya. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.